They crazy, huh? He want my glove like I ain't got to go to work. As a coach, I'm always optimistic. You believe in your players, you believe in what you're doing, you believe in, in every aspect, and that's when you can start to tell it's special. Good work in practice, man. A lot of good stuff in there. The whole offseason is great prep, but now all the strings are off. You can just tell the excitement, you can tell the guys are focused and ready to go. We're building a team and you're going to see a lot of competitive situations in training camp with guys competing for jobs. We want to put players in position so they can show who they are to us and how they're going to fit in and help our team. We just saw the excitement grow last year. We as a team got better and better. You can just feel the excitement. It's palpable. Get a little juice flowing. This is fun. One thing I took away from practice today, it didn't start great. And as you guys know, I mean, I was on you guys pretty good. And I thought we handled adversity excellent. We handled adversity excellent, right? And that, and guys, we know that happens so many times during the season, right? A drive stalls out, a, another drive stalls out, another drive stalls out, and then we gotta go, right? And it takes somebody making a play. It takes somebody making a play and handling the adversity that you're going through to take us out of the rut. And, and Jacoby made a hell of a throw to Chester. Chester ran a hell of a route and the protection was perfect, right? The whole thing was beautiful. And the next period, right, we started really fast. All right, guys. All right, with your coaches. Speed and rip it, cover two hole shot, get work on outside releasing, outside releasing. Everybody good? Hey, listen, we had the day off yesterday, right? Execute today, execute. Pay attention to what's going on, make sure we're subbing properly with all the call it stuff. All right, let's go, here we go, get some energy, here we go. Look at our room and we got all different types of receivers. We got T.Y. with speed, Devin's a big guy, and guys with quickness with Paris and all these other guys, and Chester and Zach. He's a combination guy. I mean, there's so many different things in this room that uh, it's a lot of fun to see. And the best part is they're all interchangeable. I know I can put them in any spot. I trust them. Mentally, they're good. And physically, they can make any play from anywhere. So it's fun. Action. I've been feeling like the OG for maybe about four or five years now, you know, ever since Reggie left. I'm getting older. All the guys are younger than me. So, you know, for me, my job is to do what Reggie did for me, and that's passing the torch down. And he always showed me the ropes, and my job is to show them guys the ropes as well. There you go. Lucky! Yes, sir. Over the years, I learned, I got to start talking more. And, you know, also going out there and proving that, you know, I'm backing up my talk. So, you know, if I'm continue to play at a high level and continue to do things I'm able to do, you know, the guys will learn and go out there and play hard. Let's go! Got it! Come on, man! Come on, man! Come on, show, boy. Go, pal. We know that when we're on the same side together, we're both trying to do something special. Either you're going to be open or I'm going to be open. And when we know when we have that, we have to make someone pay. That way we open it up for everyone else. So I love playing beside him. I feel like last year we really started to dominate. It's going to be something special when we do it this year. <laughs> T.Y. is a character. I've never seen a grown man laugh so much. <laughs> 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 You know, sometimes I like to joke. I like to joke. Well, mostly all the time I'm joking or smiling. I'm the guy that gets everybody together, get them going, and, and we go from there. 
But then you got Funch, who's just always loud, crazy. Mic'd up, mic'd up. Yeah, that's me. Yo! Come snap the ball. Yo, hey, we're 13 at. That day? Wow. Wow. When I make it to you, hey, when I make it to year eight, year nine, or like that, that day, I need it. He's fast, he's big. You know, he can push a DB wherever he wants him. <laughs> Can't run around any better now. That's good. You can't be all uptight, I just keep telling them. Just have fun with it. The team that's having fun is gonna win the most. Come on, come on. My nephew don't want to run with me. Nephew! The coach, I didn't even think the coach would want me, to tell you the truth. But when, when I got the call, I was interested. It was a no-brainer. Gotta go with the team that had to run and, and has the passion to go take it over. So I chose the coach and, and it's been fun ever since I got here. I'm kind of looking forward to a little bit of that 1-7 in the zone. Kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to get it in there. It got to be in Indy, though. I can't wait. He's a different kind of player, obviously, than some of the guys in the room. But I, I think one thing that kind of gets overlooked is he understands football, and he's an extreme competitor. You should have practiced today. You should have practiced today. Tomorrow will hurt. If he's the ghost, I don't know. You might say goblin. The goblin. It might fit him. It might fit him. It might fit him. Ghost in the goblin, baby. Oh, <laughs> uh, y'all can't ask for a beautiful day to play football, boy. It don't get no better. Oh, you know I'm all gas on this mic. He's one of those guys that he's gonna show his personality no matter what. You know, uh, whether he knows you or don't know you, you're gonna know who Ebron is. I got something for y'all. What's up then? <laughs> you know I'm here with all the jokes. I know you is. Uh, Come on now. I got a whole notebook I'm about to get right on your ass. You better throw that away because you're going to lose. Now we're just trying to really see how good we can be. I think that's the biggest difference between now and last year is we're trying to be, you know, perfectionists out there now. We understand the coaches, the coaches understand us. And now we're just trying to, you know, really see how far we can take this. Uh, no, that's on me. I should have heard that too. Yep. Yeah. Hey, on the same page. Yep. Yeah. We gotta take one chain away, bro. <laughs> the whole look to Ebron thing, and I know like Verizon and all these phone companies are going to like 5G now, but whatever. <laughs> We're still LTE. <laughs> and like we say, man, it's good against any coverage. <laughs> Different thing about Eric, don't get it confused, he's the loudest, but he knows football at the end of the day. That's something people might not really think, but he really knows what he's doing and what he's talking about. Happy-go-lucky dude. And, yeah. <laughs> we talking about you right now. <laughs> you see exactly what I'm talking about. Wide receiver room and tight end room. I feel like we can dominate the NFL with me, Jack, Mo, Ross, I love Jack, man. He's just like, he's like the ultimate big brother. People think Jack is quiet. Jack talks a lot. All of us just look to Jack when we need something because typically Jack knows it. If you're not right, he's going to help you get right. He's going to step to post to make sure that thing doesn't split. You go fit that crease. Jack. Just a little bit tighter here. One more time. You're good, Jack. That's me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I keep telling Mo, I go, well, me and Jack are free agents, and they're just waiting for us to get out of here so they can open it up for you. Because, <laughs> I mean, he's just a monster. It really is just uh, not the average human being. Oh! <laughs> I, didn't, I just pushed him. I didn't unload. <laughs> I was talking to Jack and Eric. I was like, man, this time last year, I was probably the most nervous person on this football field because we were warming up. Like last year, I'm going out. I'm like, man, am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? I probably like took the wrong footwork. Camp now is just, it's physical, but I know what I'm doing and I'm not second guessing myself. I'm just going out there playing fast and I'm just trying to make plays and help the team win. When I'm, when I'm dancing, I'm, I'm, I'm locked in. I'm, I'm in my own zone, my own way. I don't, at that point, I don't care who's watching me, who can see me. I'm in my own zone. If I'm not dancing, then something's wrong. If I'm not, then something's wrong because that's how I get myself ready. That's how I, I, I lock myself in. I don't care who's watching me. I'm focused on one thing, and I'm just letting my emotions just show how happy I am to be out there. Guys don't really 
know about Zach, don't think about Zach, and that's why I like to call him the sleeper because once, once he's in the game, you got to sleep on him, and then boom, Zach makes a big play. Oh my! A room with Chester's cool, but Chester snores a lot, and it's loud too, but it's okay. Chester loves to have fun, but what's changed about Chester is his competitive drive. I just be needing to let people know 80 got heart, that's it. I mean, he's done such a good job about competing and wanting to get better and understanding his role, understanding, hey, I may not be the primary guy in this route, but I have to win. That's easy. He does like to joke around. Him and T.Y. like to sit in the back of the room and make little jokes and have fun. And he likes to smile on the field. So if he's smiling on the field, we know we're in a good spot. Hey. Hey, hey, hey! All right, guys. You guys, to be in this camp is a tremendous accomplishment. We have a commitment to greatness. Every second, we're focused, and that's what it's about. Couldn't be more happy with the help, with the attitude with all you guys have that you're bringing here to us. And this is gonna be special, but again, this is gonna be fun, man. You've been blessed and you love this game. You love it. Continuity is a good thing in this league. I think in any sport, you know, bringing back as many players as we are uh, on both sides of the ball that got great experience as young players, that's unique. It's really unique. And then being able to add Devin Funches, Parrish Campbell, that combined with watching our young players from last year continue to grow. That's building a team. And it's gonna be fun to watch them come together. What we did last year doesn't matter. We start over, we start over every season. It's a new team, but it's gonna be fun to watch them grow and watch them compete. I think they'll make the city proud.